The law in Tennessee prohibits him from using the school bathroom of the gender he identifies with. He says last year he had a bathroom emergency and was harassed by multiple boys when he tried to use the restroom. Toby, Sherry, thanks for joining us. Oh, you're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. So, Toby, what happened? So, it was just right before class, and I was just trying to go to the bathroom, and I got in the stall. It turned out to be broken. It didn't lock, and all these boys were trying to get in the stall. They were shouting slurs at me, and they just they kept trying to get in, and it went on for so long, it felt like. And then some administrative people came into the bathroom to break it up. And then they blamed it on me for being in the bathroom. And technically, they were right because technically you weren't supposed to be in that bathroom, which created a problem for you pursuing these bullies for doing what they did. We were told by the assistant principal that if we pursued pressing charges of assault against these other students, that it would actually be Toby that would be facing potential expulsion from school. Okay, and what happened to the 10 boys, Toby? I have no clue. I didn't know who was in the bathroom. I couldn't see them from behind the stall door. The assistant principal thought it was my fault. And she kept thinking that I identified as a girl because she wouldn't hear out my side of the story, kept calling me she. The assistant principal also, you know, made comments that Toby was obviously in there to for lewd activities um, and then excusing these other students' behavior by telling me, well, I know, you know, boys will be boys. It made me feel as though there's no protection, like there's no recourse, there's no place that we can go to make sure that my son is protected and not bullied in the schools because he's trans. He doesn't deserve that. Let's look at this through the assistant principal's eyes for just a minute, just for argument's sake. Yeah. So from her standpoint, a girl was trapped in a stall with 10 boys outside beating on the door trying to get in and if the, it, just assuming that fact pattern that was okay that was okay it was just boys being boys uh, that was the phrase that she used on the phone with me how well, the hell is that okay it is not okay at it, it, all so toby uh, what's your experience been since then i was terrified to go in that bathroom for or like even near that bathroom for months i it was in one of the school hallways and i got really nervous whenever i was passing by it and i heard people talking about what happened in the hallways and it was just really concerning to hear so many people talking about it in such a bad light because they were all under the assumption that it was a girl in the men's restroom and she was up to something but yeah. it wasn't a girl in the restroom it was me well, we reached out to uh, Toby's school for a comment uh, regarding this incident, and uh, this is the response that we got. Tennessee law states that all public education students must use the bathroom for their gender assigned at birth. School districts have no authority to violate this law. In this case of a transgender student, attending one of our high schools, the school made accommodations for the student to use a private single occupant bathroom because the student stated he identifies as a boy instead of a girl. However, in August 2021, the student chose to use a boy's bathroom instead of the private bathroom and other students in the bathroom reported it. When an employee found the student in the bathroom, the student said he had been harassed by other students while in the bathroom. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.